exercise to work your abdominals, your obliques, and your transverse abdominus on the interior by twisting your waist is the cable twist. Now I'm going to show you with a resistance band, but you can also do this with an adjustable cable pulley. Just set the cable to somewhere between shoulder and elbow height on your body when you're standing and set a fairly easy resistance because this exercise does get pretty challenging pretty quickly. Now what you're going to do for this exercise, with me with my resistance band here, I'm going to stand so the band is already has a little tension on it at the beginning point. So I'm backing up until there's a little tension on the band, I'm grabbing the band with two hands, and I'm standing feet slightly wider than shoulder width, good posture as always, chest is up, shoulders are back, and core is flat and tight. I'm going to rotate my feet away from the band a little bit. So if I was lunging, I'd be lunging this way. Both of my toes are pointing that way. Knees are slightly bent and the front knee is leaning just a little bit. And you'll find what's most comfortable with you for the stance. From here, you want to lock your hands in front of your chest. So when you're doing this exercise, there's a tendency for people to move their arms without rotating their torso, which we're trying to do. We're trying to really twist and use those obliques. So lock your hands in front of your chest, twist your whole torso. You can see my hands are in front of my sternum in the middle of my chest the entire time, and my chest swings around. You really want to feel that pull all the way through your abdominals. And what a lot of people will do, especially when they get tired, just move their arms. There's no twist happening with my chest and shoulders. So lock your hands right in front of your chest and pull them with your abdominals. Power through that motion. There's a slight twist coming from my hips, but I'm trying to get as much as possible starting and falling through with my abdominals. Now this has a lot of carryover to rotational based exercises like tennis, golf, boxing, all these things that involve twisting. This is a great exercise for building that core capacity. So be sure to do both sides and do both sides equally so you don't develop asymmetries. But this is a good thing to work in if you're trying to work your core in the rotational capacity.